What the f Well, this is major. I'm in the middle of nowhere in the Waiweka Gorge, cruising along, and then I got a low oil pressure light come on. Instantly turned off, and she does not sound good. 9 pm, stuck here. No reception. Holy shit. Well, we've been rescued, thanks to Brad and Liam. Two hours sitting here in the pitch black. Well, I'll get home and reassess. Well, this is a sight I never thought I'd see. My most reliable car. Triple A, turned into this, getting home, and then uh, halfway back home, uh, hour or two out of Gisborne, got the low oil pressure light turned off as soon as I could. Pretty random, but at the same time not really because uh, after a bit of research, seems like it's quite a common problem on these um, oil pumps and lifters, so I suspect the lifter has failed and it's jammed up the pressure relief valve in the oil pump. So now I'm just trying to decide what to do. I think for starters I'll drain the oil and see if there's any shavings in there. Um, hopefully it's done no damage to the bottom end. That's not too bad, I'll probably remove the oil pump. Expect that, probably go from there, hoping it's nothing too major. It sucks, because obviously I was selling the car, but I'd probably prefer it happen to me than sell the car and it happen to the new owner, so. These things happen, yeah, quite surprised. I thought this was my reliable car. At least the world, they say, but turns out the Jay-Z's still the most reliable. Still never let me down, so I guess I'll uh, get into it. These things look pretty easy to work on anyway, so if I do have to pull the engine, it will be pretty straightforward. Who knows? Do I chuck a supercharger and stuff on it while I'm at it? I don't know, we'll, we'll have to see. Here we go. Oh, that looks mint to me. Well, well, it's not looking too promising. Just uh, took the filter off. Yeah, that's no good. And... The oil is not much better, it's a bit hard to tell. Now I'm wondering, is that just from the lifters or the bearings itself? It's a bit hard to say. I know a lot of people have gotten away with just doing um, the oil pump and lifters and it's been fine. I guess I'm not really gonna know until I pull the sump and oil pump off. Have a look. Either way, not good. What the fuck is that? Alright, a bit of an update. Um, I've actually done quite a bit now without recording much. I was a bit unsure if I was going to record or not. Not that I really cared, like, it's good content. Usually when you break something, it ends up being like the best content. So, when something like blows up. Um, but it was more for like, obviously I'm selling the car so I was a bit wary of if it's going to put people off or you know not being original. Uh, I've been sorting a lot of things out now I've got a plan um, there was a guy that was actually going to buy it before this happened and then I told him and I told him the plan and he's still keen as I'm buying it even probably keener now that's what's going to go down so I'll quickly show you what I've done for starters and I'll show you the damage it is not good at all. So yeah I've basically got most of it pulled apart, took the oil pump off. I was gonna start removing the heads and remove the cam, but decided to hold there because I've got a plan and I no longer need to do that. I was assuming it was gonna be the oil pump and it wasn't that, the oil pump is sweet. Quickly go underneath. And I've got a main cap and a big end off. There's the big end, not flash. Um, I don't know if you can see properly, but the bores and the cam itself actually look not too bad. But anyway, we come to the sump and we have shavings galore. Now, this is what has happened. And this is the substance that was stuck on the pickup which caused the low oil pressure. There was none of this anywhere else but the pickup. Can't quite see any, but yeah, the, the whole pickup is um, blocked with that stuff. No idea what it is. It's real soft like rubbery stuff and then it kind of dissolves to like a tar in your fingers so yeah big end absolutely stuffed uh the main's not too bad um and also the crank is quite damaged so that will need machining as well now this is very random this is not what i expected at all and this doesn't happen on Alice's. None of this makes sense at all. Spoken to a few people and showed a few people that substance on the pickup and no one knows what it is. It's a bit crazy to say, but it's almost like it's been sabotaged somehow and someone's put something in the oil and it's reacted with the oil. 
service every 5,000 Ks. Uh, oil's still golden, I only just serviced it a few weeks ago. It's a major riddle. I've sent oil samples away and stuff because I, I really want to get to the bottom of this. Yeah, I'm, I'm stumped. If it was like the lifters failed and the oil pump failed like they do, then I would have been fine. I would have been like, okay, whatever, that, that happens. But it actually has an upgraded Malian's oil pump anyway. It's, it's a mystery at this stage, but I've been doing a lot of investigating and I'm gonna figure it out. I've come up with a plan. Um, so I spoke to Lama Engineering in Wellington and they're gonna help me out. So it's gonna get a full rebuild, new everything, new lifters, the whole lot. So essentially it's gonna be like a 0K engine and the new owner's gonna be even happier. At Lama, they said, comes with a 20,000k warranty, 12 month warranty, which is like insane, even on race engines. So I was super stoked with that. So they'll do the whole process. Um, I was gonna remove it, take it down, but then I would've had to take the car down once the engine was ready anyway and put it back in, then get it tuned there for the warranty, to get the warranty. So by the time I'd done all that, it was gonna work out the same. So I'm just gonna stop what I'm doing right now and just take the whole thing to them and they can do it all. No idea on price, I'm not gonna be exactly cheap, but hoping for the best that not too much is damaged. I was actually having quite a bit of fun working on this Alice. First time working on Alice and actually very easy. But yeah, like if I was keeping the car, I probably could have done a pretty cheap fix myself since I'm selling it and a car of this value, I'm not cheaping out. And like I say, I'm glad it happened to me and not the new owner. Whatever, shit happens, I'm used to it. It's not the first time and uh, we'll sort it out and we will move forward. And if anyone is doing this and or wants to remove their sump for some reason. It was a bit niggly getting the sump out, but I found out you have to jack the whole engine up and I put like a spacer in between the engine mounts and then it eventually came out. I've got this block of wood here just holding it up. I can see why people use these all the time. Very simple. Well, I'll somewhat put it back together just so um, when I chuck it on the trailer and travel down to Wellington, it's not having stuff flying inside of it. Not that it matters too much because it's all getting pulled apart anyway. But uh, yeah, labelled all these bags because I'm considerate and I know what it's like being a mechanic when there's just bolts everywhere so that should make their job easier. I also forgot to mention that that stuff on the pickup is not silicon, it's definitely not silicon and there was no black silicon used at all on this engine. The only time it's been apart was when the front cover was pulled off and the oil pump changed. Right, we have some uh, goodies today. Big thanks to Phoenix. Um, I've just got their new radiator for the JZX. This is a triple pass radiator. This one was just a single pass I had in. Done the job fine, but when I'm banging off the limiter constantly, um, going lap after lap, it started to get up a little bit in temperature. So this one is gonna be primo and solve all my problems. Typical last minute stuff, Matt series this weekend. So I've got like a day or two to get ready. Car's been sitting there all this time, haven't touched it. Quickly bang this in, then wet alignment, and then that's basically all I need to do. So, have us some uh, extra tricks there. Air cooler, stubby cooler. Oh, this looks good. Uh, so, this is the black series, obviously. It's even got a um, little bleeder there. Mint. Phoenix there and also hook me up with a stencil because I need to put one on the intercooler so I'll do that at some stage too. A few stickers in there. Stoked. So yeah, basically just gonna pull this out, basically half out and then bang this in and we'll be good to go. I also just adjusted up the preload a little bit more on the front. Um, and I never got an alignment after I put all these arms and stuff in last time. Last time I just done a quick eye alignment and just sent it and it seemed to be not too bad actually. <laughs> Thought I'd get it done properly this time. All my wheels, kenders, hopefully gonna be enough for Matsuri. I've only got like 12 for two days, but being kenders should be enough. So that's that out, still running the viscous. Just gotta swap the shroud over, then we're good to go. Just notice you can put a temp sensor here as well. Stepping up the game. So if you are after a good radiator, get in quick because um, these ones usually sell out fast, I think. I actually do have to drive it on the street. I'm going to drive it to get the alignment because I cannot be bothered putting it on the trailer. So if your first time driving it on the road with the livery should be interesting. Yeah. I was also thinking about 
filling this up with more oil. The trick to these is pull them apart and put like um, Lucas heavy duty oil in it and it'll lock it right up and they piss. But probably you won't need to anyway. Easy as that. Fill her up and we out for some street testing. <laughs> Now, I've got to drive this to get a wheel alignment in the rain. No demister. Oh boy, wild conditions out here, not ideal. Well, I made it back. Uh, she got a bit hot, but it's definitely not the first time. And it's a Toyota, come out factory with uh, metal head gaskets, so she's good. Um, but yeah, it's just had quite a bit of air in it. Topped it up, bled it, and ran it up, and it's sweet as now. This weather is insane. Just went and had a bit of a look around town and this is probably the worst flooding I've ever seen here in Gisborne. I might go for another drive soon, it's not even high tide yet. Yeah, houses are getting fully flooded. To be honest, I don't even think I'm going to get to Matsuri at this rate because the gorge is always real bad so I probably won't even be able to get through. I forgot to mention, they had to take my side skirt off to do the wheel alignment because it's too low. So put it on the back of the ute. It would followed me home and that went around the roundabout too fast and it came flying off. And then we lost it, went back trying to search for it and couldn't find it. Now, um, Apparently someone's found it and put it somewhere so it was just gonna try find it now all going well because it looks ugly like that with the exhaust out and no side skirt. Does he have it? Oh there it is. Is it in one piece is the next question. Did someone run it over? B. Hey. What'd you learn from that? <laughs> Go slow around roundabouts with loose loads. Is it mint? No. Nah. I just repaired that. Nah, well, better than nothing.